Hello. In this tutorial, I will show you how to navigate the scene using the steering wheels. This feature is only available in the most recent versions of 3D Studio Max. Before we start, you should have a previous knowledge about the user interface and how to navigate the scene. For this you can check my other tutorials on the webpage www.macrooftutorials.com. Well, the steering wheels are a new way to access the tools to navigate the scene. Like I showed you in previous tutorials, exist a group of tools in 3D Studio Max that works to navigate the scene that is, moves you trot the scene, zoom in or zoom out, rotate around the objects, change your point of view, and so on. This tools contains another buttons. What appears when you may click on a button and hold it for a moment. So, this way you can choose the right tool. But, the steering wheels allow you to make practically the same that you can do with the classic tools, but offering another interface that looks simple and easy to use. Let we'll see something about the different interfaces that offer the steering wheels and how to use it. If you recently installed 3D Studio Max, probably when you start it, appears this. A little circle in the bottom left corner of the active viewport. This is the steering wheel, and when you move the mouse over it, immediately shows this message. This message have two tabs. One, is for persons that have a previous knowledge working in 3D, and the other is for people who is starting. Anyway, the options of the two tabs are easy to use, let's see the first one. Here, your four steering wheels. The first one is the full navigation large wheel, and this is the most complete wheel. Have a lot of tools combinated in just one. Let we'll see how it works. To select just click here. This way, and now when you move mouse, the wheel follows the mouse. See. And when you keep the mouse over it, you can choose between the different options on it. I will use the same scene used in the tutorial about how to navigate the scene using the classic tools. And now. I will maximize the perspective viewport. OK. To make the steering wheel shows up, just press in the keyboard that key shift plus W, and here it is. And to make it disappear, just press the escape key or right click anywhere. This way. Remember, to use the steering wheel, just press shift and W in the keyboard. If this doesn't work, probably is because you have turned off the keyboard shortcut over right toggle, and to solve it, just turn on the button and try it again. Well, now you can move the mouse and the wheel follows the mouse. At the bottom of the wheel is the function of pan, that remember works to move your point of view and scene, doesn't move the objects, no. This moves you. Just make click and hold it. And moves the way you want to. The mouse pointer changes to a quadruple arrow and a little message shows up, below it. At the left, is the orbit tool. One click on it and hold it, the mouse pointer changes to a point with two arrows and a message appears, and a green sphere surrounded by three rings called pivot, shows us the point that we are orbiting. At this time appears at the top of the pyramid, this is the point around which we are rotating. Just have to move the mouse up and down to rotate in the vertical way and side to side to rotate in the horizontal way. To end it, just release the mouse button. In the center of the wheel, close to the orbit button, is the center tool. This helps us to choose a different rotation point. In other words, to move the pivot point. Just make left click on it and hold it. And now, you can move the pivot point wherever you want. For example, the top of the sphere. Like this. C. And when you use the orbit tool you're not rotating the view around the pyramid anymore, but, around the sphere. To rotate the view, around you and not around pivot point, you can use the look tool. When you click on it and hold it, the mouse pointer changes to a bent double arrow. And if you move it, the view change like if you are pointing a video camera. And if you press the arrow keys, you can walk trot the scene. Works too, if you use the keys W, A, S and D, W like the up arrow moves you forward. S like down arrow, moves you backward. A like left arrow, moves you to the left. And, D like the right arrow, moves you to the right. At the top, we find the zoom tool. This works to zoom in or zoom out to the scene. Just make click and hold it. And the mouse pointer changes to a magnifier glass. Note that appears the pivot, again. When you moves up the mouse, this zoom in. And moving down the mouse, this zooms out. Now, the pivot indicates the 3D point of reference to zoom in or zoom out, in the scene. And this point, appears below the location where the steering wheel was when you did click. To end this, just release the mouse button. So, if you want to zoom in, and take a closer view of the sphere, just move the wheel over the sphere, click and hold it in the zoom tool, and moves up to zoom in and down to zoom out. If you want to see the donut, do the same. Move the wheel over the center of the donut, this way, and click and hold it. 
and in the base of the donut appears the pivot sphere. C. And moves the mouse up to zoom in and down to zoom out. In the center of the wheel is another tool, the up down tool. This works to change your altitude. You just have to click on it and hold it, and the mouse pointer changes to a sliding bar. And moving the mouse down, the view moves down. And moving the mouse up, the view moves up. Like this. In the center of the wheel we find the what tool. This is pretty useful for moving through the scene. When you click on it and hold it, the mouse changes to a circle with arrow in all directions. Just move the mouse pointer to start walking. If you move the mouse up, you start to move forward. If you move the mouse up a bit more, you move forward faster. If you want to stop, just move the mouse over the circle, again. Like this. The same way, you can move in other directions. Like this. And if you press the shift key in the keyboard and hold it, appears the up down tool and now you can move in the vertical way through the scene. And when you release the shift key, you can continue using the what tool. There is one more tool, the rewind tool. This is very useful because lets you return to a previous view. When you click and hold it, appears a series of frames. Moving through this pictures, like this. You can choose a previous point of view. And you can restart it, just releasing the left mouse button. Like this. Well, this are basically all the functions of this tool, but let me show you another wheel. This tutorial will continue. Find the second part of this tutorial in www.hardtutorials.com.